four, this is the female. This is the 14 year old female. Two four, if you can secure, secure her in your car where she can be safe and warm. Breaking news tonight is we are hearing the very moment Arkansas law enforcement found the 14 year old North Carolina girl who was at the center of an Amber Alert. Thanks for joining us for KRK4 News at 5. I'm Hunter Hoagland. The rescue of that young girl comes after authorities say the alleged kidnapper shot a Lone Oak police officer. We're learning tonight the officer is expected to survive. We have team coverage tonight from Mitch McCoy working his sources here to Katrin Asaf, who's live in Lone Oak. We begin though with Mitch tonight, who has the very latest. Mitch, good evening. Hunter, good evening to you. Good evening, everyone. Arkansas Arkansas State Police tell me this man, 38 year old William Ice from Pennsylvania, opened fire on the Lone Oak police officer after spotting his vehicle, the same vehicle used in connection to a child abduction case in North Carolina. Let's walk you through all of this. It all started around 8 last night in the McDonald's parking lot off DD Lane in Lone Oak. The officer ordered Ice out of the car, but state police say when Ice started to get out of the car, he pulled a gun and shot the Lone Oak officer. Another officer were turned fire, but ice was able to drive away. A state trooper spotted the suspect vehicle leaving the parking lot after the shooting, and that's when a chase started. It ended not far away, and that's when troopers were able to rescue that teenage girl, and they found ice with an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound. Ice was also wanted by Pennsylvania law enforcement authorities in connection with other child predator cases. State police say the 14-year-old girl is the victim in a child abduction case. I just spoke within the last 10 minutes with Lone Oak Police Chief Matt Edwards. He says his officer is recovering. This is uh, something that we never want to happen in our career, but with our line of work, it's, it's inevitable um, at some times. The Amber Alert in North Carolina more than a week ago. There's been a nationwide search for this young girl ever since. We are told that the FBI was getting that young girl back on a flight back to North Carolina earlier today. And Hunter, you might notice we haven't mentioned that teenage girl's name because she's a victim in this case, according to state police. All right, Mitch, keeping us updated in the studio tonight. Thank you. Our Katrin Asaf also standing by in Lone Oak tonight where it all unfolded. Katrin, you've been following this since late last night. Catch us up to speed on what you've learned so far. Yeah, Hunter, well, you can see that we're in front of the McDonald's parking lot where this all happened. Uh, now, this, if you can see for today, it's kind of back to business as normal. Yesterday, there were crime scene uh, tape all over this parking lot back in that bike ride corner. That's where there was a vehicle pulled over that uh, law enforcement seemed to be really investigating. There were state patrol cars, sheriff's deputies cars all over the place here. And now it's back open. It's back to business as usual. But for this town, that's not quite the way that things are going. You know, people are still reeling from what has happened today with this officer who was injured in the line of duty. We spoke to one family that was just traveling down the road and they said that the community is really feeling for this officer. They're thinking about his family and they're praying that he makes it out of this okay. We're going to have updates coming up later tonight on what we hear from the community as well as what we're learning on the scene here today and what those scenes look like today. Reporting in Lowenoke, I'm Katrin Asaf. Hunter.